All right, we are back for Montreal Canadiens GM mode number two. So I read some of the YouTube comments, just some to point out. Um, Humza, I really hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm sorry if I'm not, but uh, gave us a tip saying to never draft a player with a face in the later rounds unless you recognize them. The EA generated players are usually much better, and that is true. So that's a, that's a great tip, and yeah, something to consider. Uh, TJ TV Hockey said, "Sell Weber. His contract is so long, and at the end, you're paying a 70 overall, seven million. So yeah, I definitely agree. We should get rid of him ASAP. I do believe we kind of had a split in the comments between trying to sell and trying to push. So maybe we'll save it till the deadline, uh, and we'll we'll go from there. But um." Yeah, and we also got A saying, this is what I needed in my life. 2021 is already better, so happy to hear that. Um, and try not to pick two-way forwards or two-way Ds in the first couple rounds of the draft. They're not great for chemistry. Extreme Diamond as a Habs fan, I approve of this series. I'm glad that I've obtained your approval. And everyone in the chat, Bench Warmer, Jonah, ISM, thank you guys for coming out. I just started recording this one now, so... Yeah, I'm going to try to get rid of Shea Weber. I did some pre-scouting. What's going on, Jimmy? And basically what I've decided is there's only one team that can really take on Shea Weber's contract that actually wants him. So it'll make it a lot easier for a trade to go through. Uh, and when I did the... Actually, let me just show you guys this quick. So if I go back, I tried to use the oh, posture check. I keep forgetting i got to turn those off. I also feel like I have to... Turn on the slow chat just in case. I'll just do like three seconds. That should be fine. Um, but yeah, so I went to the, uh, what's it called? Find a trade? If I can find it. <laughs> I can't find find a trade. There it is. It's at the top. GB Daniel, how are you today? So I went with Weber and there's only one trade and I had absolutely no interest in it whatsoever. I mean, we got Flurry. And uh, a third. But we don't really need a goalie. And that's literally the only trade. So, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna do uh, a trade that I kind of pre-scouted. And, Jimmy, I want to turn it off because, I mean, you can't really tell if I'm actually doing it. I mean, sure. You know what? I'll hydrate. There, I got you. Okay. So, let's go to the Philadelphia Flyers here. The only team that has enough cap space and... Weber's green four. So, yeah, I'm basically just going to try to pick up a younger defenseman. And after looking at two of them that were kind of in the same potential range or possible potential range, came down to Gostas Bear and Gustafsson. So, I saw Sandheim here as well. He's still got that medium top four, 83. But, yeah, I'm kind of looking at Gostas Bear, honestly. He's listed as offensive. He is 84 overall, only 27. He's got three years left on his contract. And, I mean, yeah, he, he will, I believe he'll fit our chemistry. He's also got four-star shooting, four-and-a-half puck skills, four-and-a-half skating. His defense is four stars, which is very similar to uh, Gus there. So, I decided I'm going to try going with uh, Goss Despair here. Sandheim, yeah, no, I, I looked at it, but I think Goss Despair is our best bet. So, I'm, I'm going to try one for one. Don't think that will go. You know what? Maybe I'll try adding in, like, a high pick from them. I don't want to get fleeced. I mean, even though we're, they're taking a massive cap dump here. Like, we're pretty much dumping on them if they accept this. But uh, let's try one more. Maybe like a fourth. Let's see. I don't think that'll work, but maybe. Trade rejected. Okay, too far off. Meaning it's not even close. So maybe I'll just try a seventh. I don't want to piss them off, you know? Let's see. Trade accepted. We'll see out on the ice. There we go. That Weber contract has been exiled. <laughs> no more will we have to deal with that. So if we go to edit lines here, I also found a line combination that's very good for us. If we move Druen down to the second line and Josh Anderson up to the second line, we get a plus five, which is huge. So I do want to keep that. I believe I found a way to make the first line a plus one as well, but I can't exactly remember how I did. I think it was with Armia, actually. I believe I had to move him up here. And then Tomas Tata was placed on the third line somewhere. I believe it was here, yeah. So it was like basically plus one, plus five, and then zero, zero. 
And our defense now, we've got Gosses Bear playing with Petrie, which is a plus three. And I think if I make one move here, I kind of wanted to move Flurry up. So that makes um, Edmondson and Flurry a plus one. And then this is zero. And then if we go to our goalies, obviously, we've got Carey Price and Jake Allen. So what I think I'm going to do in this video, actually, is just sim up to the trade deadline. And then we're going to see what happens there. I'm still kind of torn as to whether or not I want to turn injuries off or leave them on. Part of me wants to turn them off because that like, you know, then I'm going to have to keep going back and editing the lines. It's just going to be a hassle. So I think for now, I actually am going to turn them off. If we want to turn them on later, we can decide. I might be streaming some Rocket League later, Jimmy. And if I do, I'll have the face cam. Don't worry. So I'm going to turn injuries off for now. But um, yeah, I just, I just, it would be annoying to constantly have to go back and do that. So I now understand why uh, other GM mode <laughs> people do that. So yeah, turn them off. I agree, Jimmy. They're going off. So let's go to our calendar here. And I'm going to try simming up. I'll try to sim the first two months. Let's see how it goes. If all is going decent, then... Oh boy, <laughs> that's a huge loss to Minnesota to start. Oh no. Okay. 0-1-1, oh, hot start. 0-2-1, oh, love to see it. Maybe we will be sellers. Hazy, how are you today? Okay. Okay. 1-3-1, one, one. it's okay. I've bounced back from worse in this game. So I, I think we could do it. There we go. 2-3-1. Calgary, shootout loss. I'll take that. 2-3-2. Two, two. Oh boy. Yeah, no, I don't know. I can't. I guess I can't get my hopes down <laughs> or up too early. But it's really not looking nice here. But again, knowing the simulation engine, we could go on like a 20-game tear. So who really knows? We'll just wait and see what happens. There we go. Couple big wins. 6-5-2. and two. That plus five on our second line is absolutely huge. So that's going to help out a lot. Okay, there we go. Seven, six, and three. Oh, man. I, yeah, I guess I do want to get to the deadline regardless because that way we can kind of analyze our roster. And don't forget, we might have some cap problems. Now that we cleared up about, I guess, three mil with that Weber trade, that's going to be massive for us. But we still... Have a lot of people with contracts expiring this year and not a whole lot of room to sign them. So we'll also look at that at the deadline to see because I'm going to need some suggestions for that. Um, also, uh, sorry, I think I missed one here. Jonah Bruss saying, Chell Legend, thank you. I appreciate that. So we're 13, 7, and 4. That's not too bad, actually. Let's go one more month and just see where we are then. I'll, I'll take 13, 7, and 4. Okay. Good stuff. It's going to be a good draft year, supposedly. Start off the month with a loss. I also believe, I think the Sweden-Finland World Junior game is on right now. And I believe Germany just played this morning against Russia. And it was only a 2-1 to one loss or something. So Germany really put up a fight, which I'm happy for. Good for them. It's good stuff. Okay, come on. Let's get some more wins here. I'll take overtime losses. I'll take free points. You know, we're third in the division right now. And the... Leading team is not too far ahead of us. Yeah, the Lightning have... Well, they have 48 points now. So they're 8 points ahead of us. I lied. That's pretty far. I also, by the way, speaking of this, so the Islanders fired their coach. I did look at our coaching staff. It's actually not so bad right now. So unless things start going really south, I think we're okay for now. Uh, I'll show you guys that maybe as well when we're at the deadline. So 20, 11, and 6. We're doing all right so far. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go right up to here. Let's go. Let's make a big jump and see if we can keep this going. But I do believe right now it's looking like the Montreal Canadiens could be a playoff team in year one. Oh. Oh, Cole Caulfield? Absolutely not. No thank you. Jared Spurgeon, $7 million over seven years for Cole Caulfield? Like, I wish there was a that's insulting button. Why is Cole... By the way, I forgot to do this as well. I went to my trading block. The computer put Cole Caulfield on the block. No. Get out of here. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I'm removing him from the block. I mm, I guess everyone else can stay. That's fine. But yeah, get Caulfield off of there. That's brutal. In what world is Montreal going to want to trade Cole Caulfield? Especially because he's doing really good in the juniors right now, right? So I don't think, you know, <laughs> that's going to give them any incentive to want to trade him. But anyway, 23, 15, and 6. I'm trying to see. Okay, we're fourth in our division now. The two teams above us are only two points up on us, but that's that's two big losses there. Ooh, okay. 
Come on. Oh, no. EA Sports, don't do this to me. It was starting to look real good. Now it's starting to look real bad. Evander, stop. No. Did they put Caulfield back on the block? Okay, they didn't. Never mind. But they still, for some reason, think I want to give him a... Maybe it's because of the thing on the right there. Our uh, surplus or whatever. Perhaps that's why. I'm still kind of a franchise noob, honestly. I've done a lot of franchise modes throughout my NHL tenure, but... I'm definitely still learning. So, yeah, I got lots to do. Especially with the whole coach and, like, staff, all that stuff. That's that's very new to me. Thank you for that big win over Seattle. Uh, oh, boy. We really fell off here. 26, 23, and 7. I mean, it's still a record where we can push. These next two weeks are going to be huge going into the, the deadline here. Hunter Jasper, thanks for the follow. Luis Alexander, how are you today? 27, 28. Come on, can we get this win against Boston? Can we get this win against Boston? Yes, we can. That's huge. Okay. Ah, oh, 29, 24, and 9. You're new here? Welcome, Jasper. Uh, or should I call you Hunter, I suppose. Uh, anyway, let's go to... Uh, yeah, Jonathan Drew had 51 points in 62 games, and that's our second line, so... Interesting. Very, very interesting. Trade price for Hellepuck? I, I don't know if I'm going to do that. But I do want to view uh, our team leaders right now. How do I have Seattle in here? So in NHL 21, you can add an expansion team. And I just, yeah, created them. Uh, obviously, the logo, it looks nothing like their real logo, but it's the closest I could find anyway. Just just the S. So, yeah, I just basically put their team colors in and made the or put the logo there for the S. Uh, but right now, we are fifth in the Atlantic Division. Uh, 62 games in. We have 67 points. A very competitive division, which, yeah, the Atlantic normally is. Okay. All right. Well, oh, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. <laughs> I'm going to leave that up to you guys, whether you think we should try to make some moves or whether you think we should, uh, you know, just kind of sit limbo. And I also do want to show you guys the contracts as well. So Suzuki's got 44 points. He's 83 overall. Druen, still 85. Tomas, ta-ta. Isn't he on... I swear I kept him on the third line. He's got 43 points. Maybe I should re-promote him. Okay. Gallagher, 85. Anderson's put up 40 so far. He's 81, so he's gone up one overall. You love to see that. Philippe Dano, still there. How is our goaltenders doing? Hey, Jude, what's up, man? Uh, Hunter, I'll get to the lines in just a second here. So, 22, 19, and 6 for carry. 901, 308. Ooh. Jake Allen, 7, 6, and 3 with a 924, 232. That's shocking. All right. Good job, Jake, I suppose. Uh, I'm trying to remember how I can actually look at what's on the block. I don't even remember how to do that. Or, you know... Uh, da, 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 browse trading block. Is that it, perhaps? So I can view who other people have on the block. Uh, yes, I can. So what I'm going to do first, though, is I will go to our lines just to show you what we have on lines. Then I'm going to go to our contracts and show you our contracts. So we got Armia, Deno, and Gallagher with a plus one on that first line. I think Armia went up one overall. If we do this, it makes it zero. But Tatar's actually been popping off. And Kakanyemi, I think, was he 82? Or was he 83 this whole time? I don't really remember, actually. Huh. Okay. Uh, all right, there's our defense. Our goalies, yeah, we know. Interesting. Okay, well, you know what? I do want to basically show you guys the contracts. So let's go view contracts here. Uh... Klim Costin. I feel like I've seen that name before, actually. But here are all the contracts running up. Gallagher's going to want a lot more. Petrie's probably going to want more. He was an 82. Okay, good. Uh, Petrie actually wants less. So that's nice. Thank you, Petrie. Tatar at 4.7. Now 6.2. Tomas. Ta, you're kidding me. No way. Uh, yeah, he's going to want a lot more. He wants 5 mil from 3 mil. Just Barry Cock and Niemi is going to want money. Oh, my God. Oh no, we're in a we're in a boatload of trouble here. Armia doesn't even want to resign right now, so that's great. Uh, what do you want? One point four. Thank you. Someone's reasonable. 
Uh, Victor Mete as well. I remember we just could not get good chemistry with this guy, but he's resignable. Flurry is probably also okay to sign. Yeah, we'll be able to get him back, no problem. Paling. Yeah, he could be a depth forward for us, I suppose. Uh, Canadian 2024, thanks for the follow. If we go to in the system, Caulfield, because of the way the game works, I had to create Caulfield because he plays in the... Uh, what's that called? Not the USHL, but he plays college, I guess. So, yeah, he, he has one year, and I tried to sign him three. The game kind of screwed me over. I decided it wasn't a big deal. So we're going to get to sign him to a big contract a little bit earlier here, but he's going to want to get paid. I don't know what else we can really do. Also, guys, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, same as my Twitch here. It also should be one of the panels if you guys want to comment because I do read the YouTube comments as well, the top comments on there to see. I try to read the Twitch chat, but it's very difficult to kind of multitask. So I am interacting with the chat a little bit here. But I, I'm also, yeah, I, I read the YouTube comments and that helps with my off-screen scouting as well. So that when we come back, we are fresh. The Amazing Finn with a posture check. Even though you can't see me, take my word for it. I just did it. Uh, thank you, by the way. <laughs> Saving my back. So don't bring Petrie back for... Uh, building for the future. Trade Cock and Yemi for someone young like Dubois. I kind of want to keep Cock and Yemi. I don't know. I, I kind of want to keep him, but it's tough. Jeff Petrie. Yeah, he is 33, I guess. That's fair. I didn't realize how old he was. He wants less, but that's going to be a problem. Okay, well, it might actually be better to be sellers. And we might have to get rid of some contracts because... There's no way we're going to be able to sign all these guys. Not a chance. No siree. That Anderson contract is... I mean, he's gone up to 81. It would be nice to keep him, though, now that we have that plus 5 for the second line, but... Okay. So you guys know the situation now for contracts. I'm going to show you guys what's on the block here. Uh, trade. Browse trading block. There it is. And we've got uh, Walensky. Okay, so nothing insane there. I spent... Oh, that's a tough one. That could be Spenny. Could be Spen... Spen? <laughs> I'm not really sure which one it is. But either way, hello. Thank you for the follow. Uh, please correct me on, on how to uh, say your name. Ice Dragon, how are you? Okay, so the Arizona Coyotes. we got Yarmulsin. I'm just going to go through all of these real quick. Um, for, for all you scouts out there. Yeah, Kock and Yemi usually becomes a stud, so I kind of want to keep him. He'd be a nice player to build around. I think I've seen him get up to like 89, 90. So it'd be nice to build around him. Jordan Stahl. I saw Eric Stahl was on the block too. Chicago has just draft picks on the block. Colorado has nothing. Well, oh, they got Bowen Byram on the block. Interesting. His trade value is going to be through the roof, but that'd be nice to get for the future. Corby Salo's on the block. We don't really need a goalie per se, but, you know, Hudobin as well. Okay, let's keep going. Strongest was there. No, nothing really from Detroit that we'd be interested in. Ethan Bear, maybe. I feel like I've had problems with him, though, in the past in franchise mode. But that could have just been user error. Uh, a lot of draft picks here. Jared Spurgeon. Okay, so, yeah, this is basically just pre-scouting for the upcoming trade deadline. Seeing if we do want to sign some players here, try to, or sorry, trade for some players, or if we want to try and dump players for signing the the ones we're going to have cap issues with. Uh, Joe Slayer, thanks for the follow. I don't know if we want to build for the future or not yet, because we are kind of potentially in a playoff position. It's a tough one, like we could make it, but we also could not. So... I'm kind of just going through this, and then hopefully you guys are kind of paying attention, and also uh, those on YouTube as well, so we can make a group decision here. But yeah, I'm just trying to see who's all on the block right now. Ranta's there. Okay, St. Louis. Done. I'm also going to go look at that player. Um, what's his name again? Uh, Klim Costin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'll go look at him after this. Just to see what he's all about. So he might be a player that we could try to pick up for, you know, one of our ready-to-go-now guys. If we are going to try and 
essentially give up this year. Peyton Krebs as well. Uh, the Capitals. Nothing really. Winnipeg. Okay. All right. So that, that's the block. Nighthawk. Hello. How are you? I will go look at uh, that, that Klim Costin guy, though, real quick, just to see what he's all about. Hopefully, he is everything you're hyping him up to be. St. Louis, I believe you said, right? Uh, yes. Doubt he's on the block. I have no idea what position he plays. Uh, there he is. Okay. He's 77 overall. 21 years of age. Uh, two years left. 8.6. So, I guess this is probably his ELC. I think it would have to be. Fourth line forward, 77, medium top six. Yeah, he seems pretty good. He seems pretty good. I saw that Sorelli was on the block as well, yeah. Hmm. I just don't know if we can really even try to make a push this year. We might have to just kind of throw in the towel because our cap space is not ideal. And on top of that, we aren't super... Close like it's definitely not a guarantee that we're making the playoffs I'll show you the standings one more time here just to kind of give you an idea of where we currently stand We're 29 24 and 9. We are fifth in the Atlantic Boston's got that wild card spot right now, and they are even six points ahead of us. So It's not honestly looking super good Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? Huh I'm stumped. I, I'm starting to lean towards wanting to not go for the cup this year and kind of build for the future. And if we do end up doing that, then I'll show you guys the contracts one more time here so we can see who who we should get rid of and basically who we can try to resign. Um, Phoenix, thanks for the follow. So here is our contracts. This is what the team looks like. This contract is awful. We might actually be able to trade him. We might. Because if we keep him on the second line, then his overall is going to keep going up. But again, he does give that second line a plus five, which makes me want to keep him. So it's tough. I do still have both Price and Allen. So I guess we could potentially try to ship off Allen here, who's going to be freeing up 4.2 for us next year. I don't plan on re-signing him really, but you know what? Honestly, he's doing all right right now. Okay. So you know what? I think what I am going to do is leave it up to you guys, but I'm definitely leaning towards going for the rebuild. So you guys have seen everything. You've seen the trading blocks. You've seen Klim Costin. You've seen the contracts. And you've seen where we sit in the standings right now. Uh, yeah, so I guess for those of you on Twitch, I'm going to stick around for a little bit longer and just keep talking with you guys, see what you think. Uh, but for those of you on YouTube, this is where it's coming to an end. So, yeah, if you want to follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash man of the rid. It's at the top there. And, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in episode number three.